Hi, hello. We're still today, uh, Tuesday, and uh, I just went this morning to have a very nice uh, walk near the sea because I'm just uh, uh, working at maybe 50 meters from the sea uh, in Malta. And, uh, and now I'm, you know, it's nearly 8 a.m. So uh, I'm recording this fantastic training. So what we'll see uh, this, this morning, uh, I'm going to show you the admin part of uh, of uh, Office 365. So we'll see the admin center uh, and we'll, so we'll see after all the admin app that you have. Uh, we will see all the admin portal. OK, so there is for, for example, Teams for SharePoint. After that, we'll see an overview of Windows PowerShell. So Windows PowerShell is really great. I love PowerShell, you know that. And we'll see how to connect with Windows PowerShell uh, and the basic admin tasks that you can do with PowerShell. After that, we'll see the uh, admin model, okay? So all the roles that exist, uh, how to create roles, how to use, and how to delegate roles, okay? So let's start with the admin center. It will be quite fast, okay? Because it's quite you know easy to understand how the admin center is working, but this is one of your Google, you are an admin guy. So we just saw in the, small, in the, in the first part, you know, a lot of, uh, very easy, you know, feature of, of Office, okay? The version, what is what was Excel, what is the plan, okay? So maybe it was a little boring for you, but I think it's important to know all that, okay? Because even if you are an admin guy, sometimes people doesn't know what is S-Way or other solution or other, you know, future. So uh, I hope that you, you understand what I'm telling. Sorry for my accent. Uh, I try to be, you know, uh, to, because sometimes I, I forget some terms and some word. But uh, I hope that you understand all what I'm saying. Uh, so stay tuned and let's start with, of course, the admin center. Bye bye. OK, so let's go directly to our console here and let's talk about the admin center. So to connect to the portal, OK, the first uh, the first URL that you must know is, of course, the office uh, portal. OK, so when you connect to the portal, you just have to type uh, this, you know, uh, portal.office.com and when you're connected to the portaloffice.com uh, you are you will be asked for your username and password okay so when you're connected here let's go for directly here you are connected here uh, first to the portal and when you are in the portal okay you are not di directly in the admin okay you must go here and click admin when you're in the admin we have the home okay in the home it's the default page so you can find navigation uh, tiles that you can use to quickly access user billing help. Okay, so here you can add some cards. So I have billing here. If I'm not inserted with billing, I can take billing and I can remove it if I want, or I can add new card. Okay, so billing, service help, message center, Azure AD. Okay, for example, I'm very interested in Azure AD. So I can uh, I can install it. Okay, like this. Uh, and here I have my Azure AD. I can change it and put it like that if I want. Uh, also, I have, you know, that I was prevention, a uh, role based. Okay. If I'm interested in role based, I can, you know, just, uh, put here my card. Okay. So here I have my role based here. Okay. So, uh, uh, this is the, um, after you have your user, so you can, uh, uh, see here your active user. Okay. You can, uh, create and manage user contact guest account in your organization. You can also access the deleted user here. Okay, so remember that when you delete a user, uh, you will keep it for 30 days uh, uh, after you delete a user. Okay, so uh, uh, you can go here and uh, when you delete a user, you have them here again. After you have, uh, of course, um, uh, all here, the, the you have here the groups here. So in the groups, you can see uh, create, you can create and manage your groups. Uh, it's include uh, 365 groups, distribution list, mail enable security group, security group, uh, and you can manage here also your shared mailbox. Okay, so when you create a group, uh, you have a lot of type of group. Okay, uh, and uh, one of the most uh, mo most known group when you create a group, of course, it's the uh, Office 365 group. Okay, this this group is amazing uh, because he will create a lot of uh, uh, of uh, you know of uh, a configuration like for example create a, a microsoft teams create a, a, a you know um, a, a place for a sharepoint files and calendar after you have distribution med enable and security we see all that after okay of course okay after we have the rules so the rules is you can manage admin uh, and 
and, and, and user roles in your uh, Microsoft 365 tenant. Okay, so here you have some role, but you have, of course, other roles because if you show all roles, you have a lot of roles here. Okay, so this is uh, this is the most known roles here that you have. Uh, and you can see show suggest a role, okay, only the roles that uh, Microsoft thinks it's important for you. After you have the resource, so you can manage uh, resource like rooms or equipment, public website, office SharePoint site. So here you, you can really go and, and manage, you know, room, uh, room equipment and site. Uh, all is here, room equipment. It's very known with uh, Exchange, for example, to book a room. Or if you want, for example, uh, you know, um, uh, I don't know, a, a projector, for example, you can put it here. After you have the billing point. The billing part is to see your subscription, bill and license. You can configure billing notification, billing account payment method, and purchase additional services here. So I can see that I can purchase services here if I want directly here. Uh, I can go to your product to see what you have actually okay, in your organization, but I can really uh, buy Power Apps here, Power Automated, uh, Dynamics here. So you have a lot of uh, here a way to install so for example you want to uh, uh, to buy a p2 okay or p1 or intune okay or windows defender so you can you know just uh, buy it and you can see how much it will be cost it will cost you can compare if you want like for example intune device with uh, with intune for example and you can compare them for example to see the price uh, i can see your, your product here so i can see other product that i have okay uh, here so uh, here you have a list of all the product that you have, uh, depending on what you, you bought. So normally you, 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 you try the product, okay? So this is trial, 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 and you see it's expired when it will be expired here, okay? So uh, uh, you, you don't have anything normally, okay? Um, and I see that uh, this one, the P2 will expire soon because it will be the, in March 18, so in two days, for example, for this one, okay? Uh, P2. Um, you have license here, uh, so all the license uh, that you, you have, the available license. So I can see that with my 365 admin, I have my license for developer, okay? So it's a special developer, I have 25 uh, license and I, I, I just um, enable 20 user with uh, uh, Microsoft E5, you know? So E5 is all this, uh, all this application, you know? So you can say if a user can have, a, for example, a whiteboard or Yammer or, you know, or, or, or for example, Power BI. Uh, all this is, is in, in, in this license. Uh, you have billing and payment, billing account, payment method, and billing notification. Okay? This is very nice. Billing notification. Uh, okay, you can uh, send a billing statement to uh, this email address if you want or other uh, user here. After that, we have the uh, support here. So let's go here, support. So this is to access support and help. You can also create support requests and custom lockbox request. Uh, custom lockbox is when you want to enable Microsoft engineer to access your data, okay? Because they will never access your data. So if you do that, you uh, say, okay, uh, they must access your data because they, they need to help you. So you must give them the, uh, the um, permission to access your data. After we have this setting, in the setting, you, you can manage, um, you can manage a global setting for apps, email, site, office suite. Uh, you can configure security and privacy setting, including changing your password policy. So uh, a lot of thing here, okay, organization setting. Uh, uh, you can configure custom domain, uh, you can change your organization profile, update release preference, and you can also see all the uh, uh, near sync uh, error, for example. So all is here, okay? So really you have a lot of thing here in the uh, organization settings, see? All is here. You have security and privacy here. So you can uh, see all the uh, custom logbook, password expression policy, for example, uh, the self password reset, the sharing, and organization profile here, okay? So you can change the custom tab if I want, to uh, change my organization profile, okay, here. The data location, so I can say, okay, I want to select a logo, okay. Uh, I want to select a background, the navigation color. Uh, you can change all this here. 
you can change also the helper desk information, organization information, and release preference here, okay? Um, this is where I remember I add the, the, um, uh, my domain. After you have the setup, okay? So setup, uh, you, you, you use this to add service to your subscription and configure custom domain and migrate data to your tenant, okay? So here you have, uh, you know, sign security, uh, increase protection for advanced threat, let user reset their own password, limit admin to the access they need, set password to never expire. You have all security and compliance, DLP, GDPR. You have the migration of your data. Uh, you have future for office every month. You have meeting and voice, device management. Okay, so you have a lot of things here. After that, we have the report, okay, here. In the report, you can use details report or on email activity, Microsoft OneDrive file. Uh, uh, so uh, SharePoint files, offline uh, office activation, Skype for business activity and Yammer activity, okay? So with this, you can have a report. Uh, so show how people in your business are using Microsoft services. Reports are available for the last seven days, 30 days, 90 days, and 180 days. Data won't exist for all reporting period right away. The report becomes available 40 hours after you can start to use. Of course, people must use Office uh, Microsoft 365. And here you can see how people are using, okay? It's very nice because it's a report where you can see if really people actually in your organization are really using your, the product, or maybe you will see that there is very few people who are using Teams or very few people who are using SharePoint. And after you can make a meeting saying, why don't you use SharePoint, for example, okay? Uh, so after that, we have the health here. Oh, this, yeah, just let me show you one thing here. Okay, let's just do like this and, and go directly on the other, right? Oh, here we have the active user. Okay, it was okay. So, uh, so after that, we have the health here. So in the health, uh, you can you, you see your tenant Help status, directory sync status, and the message center. Okay, so here you can you can see. Okay, this is was the uh, the activity. Okay, we can see all that after. Uh, so you can see the service health. So uh, uh, health of the service. Uh, you know of uh, all the service uh, in the world. Uh, so you can see that there is incident in the SharePoint online, uh, in in Exchange online. Uh, you can see the, the, the incident, the advisor. So you can see what is happening in the data center of Microsoft in the world. You have this here, the message center. Uh, I use it a lot, okay, to see, you know, for example, uh, all the message. Uh, so it's the high level overview of planet change and how it may affect your user, okay? So always it's important because you can must go here and uh, and see what, what will happen, okay? So uh, you can see that, uh, uh, you know, change from Microsoft to do support experience, uh, uh, and you can see the impact, okay, for your for your for your company, okay. So you can see that uh, this is all what is happening uh, in the Microsoft. So so Microsoft tells you uh, all what is happening, the message ID and the impact for organization, okay. And after you have the network connectivity, okay. So this is the help also to have information about network connectivity. And after you have all the admin center, okay? So we have all the, the security admin center, compliance, endpoint manager, previous to Intune, Active Directory, Exchange, SharePoint, Teams, and you can see all of them here when you go to admin center. Okay, so I hope that it was clear for you. Uh, um, so it's nice to see, uh, to, to take some time and to go on all this, uh, this uh, feature and to take some time to explain them because maybe you say, oh my God, I didn't know that I can have the message center and I can see the if it's important uh, for me, if there is a new feature, okay? So let's stop now this uh, video and the next video we'll see uh, the admin app and we'll start to move to PowerShell, okay? Ciao, take care, stay tuned.